So, what is permaculture? At its heart, it's living lightly, in harmony with nature, um, leaving a positive impact wherever you go, a positive footprint. But it's difficult to say precisely what permaculture is because you can't see it. Um, if you visit a permacultured site like this one, you can't wander around and point at things and say that's the permaculture because there is no such thing as a permaculture element or thing or a permaculture technique. There's only things that work well to meet certain needs in a given context where you are and there's a need to understand that but we'll talk about the how in a moment. What permaculture isn't is it's not a form of austerity, it's not about going without. In fact nature is incredibly abundant so by working with nature permaculture can be incredibly abundant if you do it well and any permaculture system can only be, a perm only be permaculture if it produces a surplus of energy so that you get out more than you put in. If a system's not working well then it's not actually permaculture even if the people doing it are trying to do permaculture. Permaculture is also not just a type of gardening although gardening does feature quite heavily in permaculture systems because it's about meeting our needs for food and to do that at home or locally then that's a really good way of reducing our footprint, reducing the use of fossil fuels, pollution and so on. So what you'll see when you visit a site like this is the result of a process, a design process, where we've been thinking about how nature works, what makes nature successful, and we have a set of ecological principles that we use that have come from observing how well nature works. Uh, you might see things that are a certain shape, that nature has particular forms it uses to solve particular problems and you might see some of that going on as well. Um, in permaculture we also have a set of ethics which comes from successful sustainable human cultures from the past and learning from those. Permaculture is also a systems approach so we look at the big picture rather than the individual things and we look at how we can put things together to create beneficial relationships to make life easier for ourselves because most of what we do in our lives is day-to-day -day meeting our needs and lots of maintenance and we design to make the maintenance and the meeting of our needs easier. And the other part of the picture is how do we cycle energy and resources back through the system? So how do we use things more than once? How do we keep water on site and reuse it? How do we maintain the fertility on the site, look after the soil and so on if we're talking about gardens. Ultimately permaculture is about how do we regenerate our degraded landscapes and communities and how do we go about that? Well that's the next bit.